Life's not fair, is it, my little friend? While some are born to feast, others spend their lives in the dark. Hi, I'm Patrice Tart, and I'm with Millbuzz.com, which is a publication for millennials. Oh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. For millennials. Millennials, yes. yes. You are not a millennial. I'm not a millennial. I think Why? you're probably Gen Z. No, I think yeah, you're right Gen Z. Yeah, you're Gen Z. We're Gen Z. Okay. Now, what is that? So, between 1990 and 2000. If Yeah, if you're, like, born within that time. Yeah, 2000. Then you are, no, 2000 and, like, three or something like that. Okay. Then you are a millennial. But after that, you are Gen Z. And there are people who are, Gen- like, Gen something else. That Why? Like, Gen Y. Yeah. yeah. And they're like, Don't make me feel old. I'm, I'm Gen X. <laughs> so am I. Okay. I'm Gen oh, X. Okay. 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 <laughs> I don't understand. And it sounds like Pokemon to me. Pokemon. Like really, it's, it's, they just assign like habits. Like yeah. millennials are very much internet driven yeah. and that kind of thing. So you're a millennial. Yes. That's cool. Hmm. That's I'll cool. be 36 <laughs> on Thursday. Really? Yes. Oh, that's it. Oh. Yes, yes. My birthday. Is the 19th, I mean the 18th. That's my birthday. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, my birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. birthday to you guys. Thank you. That's that awesome. So what are you going to do for your birthday? Nothing. Just off from work. <laughs> yeah. Just rest. When you get to be our age, you just, just oh, rest. Okay. That's yeah. all we need. I'm work on my <laughs> <laughs> Go to like Benny Hanna's or something. Yes, I might do that. Yeah. That's a good yeah, idea. Yeah, go get some food. Bro. Okay. Treat yourself. I will. <laughs> yeah, we, well, look, we're never going to get into it. Right? Right. We're going to talk about Jim Y. And, all right. So, um, JD Shahadi. I yes. want to make sure I have mm-hmm. that right. Mm-hmm. Uh, you guys are like a triple threat. You sing, you dance, you act. And you're no strangers to the stage. In fact, Shahadi, you've played Young Nala before on Broadway. Yes. So tell us, how did you guys prepare for the roles of Young Simba and Young Nala for? It for didn't the- take that much to prepare for it. it. It wasn't like I had to stay out with lions every day or anything. I had to tame no lions. It wasn't anything hard. I just had to watch the movie and just study it just a little bit, just to understand how... Simba really reacts to things and how he just acts. It, and it helped. No, no, it didn't help. It worked. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah, now I'm in the movie. So. Yeah. I think that Broadway was kind of my preparation, but mm-hmm. I think after that, I kind of just, like, watched the movie, studied it, um, and I think that it really helped with both of our performances because we got to see what it was like, you know, being young Nala and young Simba back then and how we can change it today. Yeah, it's cool. So how did you find out you guys got the part? How I found out was through my mother, mm-hmm. because my mom, she can't really keep a secret for too long. Oh, no. So I, I don't think she wanted to. That Good job, Mom. I, All right. If you <laughs> kept that from me, I would have been pretty mad. But yeah. you didn't. Good times. Good job. So <laughs> how I found out, my mom got a phone call, um, and it was the phone call that booked the role for The Lion King. I didn't know about it until she told me. We threw a party, we <laughs> ate a bunch of food, <laughs> hung out with family, prayed a lot. I thanked God. Is that thanked? Thanked. 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 All right. He's been stuck on this like yeah, forever. It's really, it's really dumb. <laughs> he doesn't like the word thanked. thanked. It's thunk. I'm going to say thunk. 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 It's supposed to be thunk. Like not thank I thank No, God. like no. that's like, that's like the... That's like the slang version of saying it. Like, who to thunk? Or like yeah. that way. But yeah. yeah. You know what? I guess that's I'm like, this line. That's like the past. I'm going to say funk. That's like the past <laughs> tense of think. Not think. Funk. Okay. So, <laughs> I'm funk. God. <laughs> Pray to my guy up there, my lord. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah. Called my grandma and stuff. It was, it was a good day. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. I found out when I was at home eating breakfast and then my agency called. And whenever her assistant has like a really high toned voice or like he's really happy. We know that we got it. So we were like really confused. We were like, what did we audition for lately? Um, but he brought us on the line with my agent and then she just screamed, you got Lion King, you got Lion King. And we were just so happy because we had forgotten about it for a little while because it had taken like a couple months for the consideration, I think. 
Um, but it was it was really great. We just had so much fun, and we celebrated, and we eventually ate breakfast. But it was it was awesome. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, that is awesome. So, what was it like playing the voices of Young Nyla and Simba? Because I feel like the voices perfectly matched the characters. I feel like it 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 showed us their true personalities, and yeah. it it resembled what the classic Lion King was. Right. Like, yeah. it definitely resembled the um, the classic Lion King. Mm-hmm. We tried to keep it as authentic as possible, but also adding our own personalities to it. Since it's yeah. a remake, you know, you can't keep everything the same. Um, so it was really cool to try and find different ways to spice it up. And it was, it was really great. We had such an awesome experience. Yeah, yeah so... Yeah, kind of what she said. Um, <laughs> it was cool playing the Lion King. It was really different than anything else. I don't think anything will be the same because mm-hmm. Mr. Favreau, um, he used the VR to make all the animation, nice. and um, it wasn't any motion balls or anything. We didn't have to play a lion right. and walk around like, oh, hey, Nala, no. It's right. <laughs> not what happened. We were walking around like human beings, mm-hmm. not being animals. Yeah. <laughs> so. <laughs> Yeah, it was it was really cool though. We were in a black box theater. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know why they call it a black box theater because everything in there was white. But <laughs> cool, we were in a black box theater. Whatever, so mm-hmm. so um, um, we had this white carpet where we could just walk around and kind of act it out and nice. really feel like we were there. Um, say this is Nala. I'm just gonna. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, we could really talk to each other and act it out. We were in the same room. It was kind of cool. So nice. Yeah, it was it was nice. I mean, we kind of look alike. We do. I mean, I'm 75% water. <laughs> <laughs> that was the corniest I'm sorry. <laughs> I had to. Please don't say that. <laughs> okay. Okay. Why did you just say that in front of these people? I'm no, embar- just- I have secondhand embarrassment. <laughs> secondhand embarrassment. <laughs> this is really bad. Okay. Next I question. I promise. No. I promise. No, I promise. You don't deserve that right now. You can do snail. Fine. All right. Snail. Okay. <laughs> Well, actually, that was my next question. But looking at you two guys, I see the chemistry. Mm -hmm. Um, And my question was, did you guys actually um, play the roles or or voice over the roles together or was it separate? So apparently it was together. And that's, is that what gave you such amazing chemistry? Because we see it on screen. Definitely. Yeah, Yeah. that actually helped a lot because I was in a lot of other scenes with with different actors and I had to play off of their energy. I played off of her energy. I don't think I was in any scenes by myself. So yeah, I played off of a lot of energy. Right. I mean, I think that, I feel like if we hadn't, you know, recorded together, I feel like the lines would have been way too structured, Mm -hmm. and we would have just sounded like we were following a script, um, even though we were, but (laughs) um, it wouldn't have sounded real. So I'm really glad that we got the the chance to do that. Um, So we're really grateful for that. Okay, so uh, one of the things I was thinking about with this version were the songs. Mm -hmm. Um, The Lion King, you know, the songs, everybody knows the song. Did you feel any pressure to kind of keep the integrity of the original songs, or were you fully comfortable, you know, making it your own? No, I I didn't feel any pressure. I'm never really nervous with things because... You know, I'm, I'm just not, I'm, that's just not me. I, I have faith. <laughs> I feel like whatever I'll do, whatever I do, whatever I'm in, I, I'll be fine. Everything will be all right. Mm-hmm. So pray about it. Leave it alone. So I'll, I'll be all right. Um, and I wasn't, didn't feel any pressure trying to recreate the songs. It's a huge honor recreating some iconic songs. Um, and yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't too bad. It was fun. Yeah. Same year. Yeah. <laughs> they both came out like pretty close like 12 days apart yeah oh wow yeah yeah ours came out april something and mine came out march 22nd yeah so we weren't too far off Mm -hmm. um that's how it worked yeah so (laughs) we went from voice to acting Uh right yeah yeah (laughs) Yeah, no you sparked a question i have a question for you but but i want to stay on script okay okay I'll, i'll come back to it um so one of the the lessons in the Lion King is that Mufasa talks to young Simba about Mm -hmm. the circle of life. Mm -hmm. So I was wondering what lessons or advice have you guys received that you still carry with you that you can share with us? Yeah, I've received a lot of um, advice from my dad. (laughs) It's 
this is kind of funny because I always talk about my dad in my interviews. Cause <laughs> he's like he's like a huge inspiration to me, and I'm always talking about him. And then after the interview, he's like, "Hey man, talk about you. Stop talking about me. You <laughs> need to talk about me. It's okay. I know I know you love me. So okay. <laughs> but sorry, Dad, I gotta talk about you. <laughs> so my dad gave me some advice, um, and this has always stuck with me. It's actually the same type of advice that Mufasa gave to Simba. Mm -hmm. um, it's you only have to be brave. You only have to puff up your chest and mm -hmm. be a man when it's completely necessary. Mm -hmm. You don't have to go out looking for danger, go out looking for someone to fight, looking for a problem. You yeah. don't have to do that. You are you might end the problem, <laughs> but you don't start it. So yeah. That's good. some stuff that he's given me. Well, my dad gave me some advice when I was like, really young it was even before I started acting when I was doing like print ads at like six months old and I mean he would always tell me it kind of sounds like Mufasa as well he would always just say remember your roots and always you know remember where you come from and you know give back to where you originally started yeah good yeah. So with all the fame, all of the excitement, how do you guys stay, stay grounded? It sounds like you have amazing parents in your corner. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, parents. <laughs> all right, yeah. Um, forgot your question. Uh, how do you stay grounded? Oh, how do I stay grounded? Do the man above. <laughs> a lot all of right. things that he does. Um, yeah. Pray a lot. Um, try to stay humble. I always think about, you know, what not to do. Um, and try not to do it <laughs> and I guess it's been kind of working I don't really want to gloat on myself or be cocky or anything like that that's what starts it so yeah that's pretty much how I stay grounded yeah and my family also mm -hmm. they, they they wouldn't let me do nothing stupid <laughs> <laughs> exactly so that out of me. I think that I would say my family as well I think that it's really just the way that I was raised but I don't have like any tricks or anything to stay grounded I think that it just kind of happens um and my mom sometimes even says that I'm too humble and I don't I don't even know what that means um so um so I think that that's really just like my parents and you know my sister or anybody else in my family so you're both actors and singers so yes. when did you all discover your love for both um well Singing for me, my whole family sings. Mm -hmm. My aunts, my uncles, my cousins, my brother, my dad. <laughs> no one on my mom's side sings. Mm -hmm. okay. Don't even don't even think about that. It's not a thing. It's not real. It's, that's a, it's a virtual reality. It's, it's not real. Everyone on my dad's side sings, though. Okay. Um, and it's kind of like a family heirloom to me. I always listen to my dad's music. Um, I listen to music a lot, so that, that helps. Uh... My dad teaches me how to sing. I, I've never gone to like a vocal coach or anything like that. I had to for the Lion King, all right? I had to. <laughs> <laughs> I, want, I wanted to keep a straight record of no vocal coaches because that's kind of cool to say, mm -hmm. but can't say it because I had to do that. It worked though, thank you. You were really good, I forgot her name. <laughs> I, I, thank you, Melissa. <laughs> Melissa. <laughs> Alrighty. Melissa. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> you, were, you were cool. We'll um, just put some B-roll over there. Right. <laughs> Insert the name here. Yeah. Um, for me, well, I was a dancer first. You know, I started dancing when I was about two. Um, but I would so, always still do, you know, um, singing and acting always in my dance classes. So I think that I liked singing and acting a little bit more. So I kind of like took a little break when I was like about seven. No, no, sorry, nine. Um, that's when I got The Lion King on Broadway. So I wasn't able to go to dance class every week. Um, so then, you know, I am in my own performing arts school now. And I'm dancing wow. again and doing ballet and jazz. And, you know, it feels really good to come back. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Your, your answer... <laughs> Sound like more sure of yourself. Mine was kind of all over the place. <laughs> but you said thank you to Melissa. That's all yeah, that matters. Yes. Melissa. <laughs> if it's Melissa. Is it yeah. Melissa? Or I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> I think it started with a C. Chrissy? Probably. Christian. I Carissa? doubt that it's Chrissy. Maybe Carissa. 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 <laughs> Sounds like a, yeah. a singing name. Right. Yeah, Clarissa. <laughs> right. All right. <laughs> so I'm going to combine this question just in case we run out of time. Um, so I'll make it a two-part. 
The Lion King is celebrating its 25th anniversary. Yes. Um, and you guys are a part of it. Mm -hmm. Has that actually sunk in? And what makes Disney's The Lion King so special? Oh, I think what makes Disney's The Lion King so special is because it's a movie for all ages. Everyone mm -hmm. can watch it. A baby can watch it. Mm -hmm. a, a teenager, a kid, a grown man, an old man. Anyone can watch it. Yeah. Um, and it's, it's kind of like a family movie because um, it's, it's about family. It has a lot of morals. It has a lot of action in it. Yeah. <laughs> Has a lot of good actors. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Um, yeah, it's it's just a great movie all around, and it's a Disney movie, so yeah. that's also a thing. Yeah, I think, like you said, you know, it's a family movie, and I think that a lot of families would love to watch it. Also, it has just some great messages in it, and I think that's what makes Disney magical because mm -hmm. all of their all of their movies have some you know really good messages to give to kids or adults or or basically anybody. Um, so that's that's why I love it so much. That is cool. So this is our last question. And um, as amazing as you guys are in the Thank movie, uh, Timon and Pumbaa are just, I don't yeah. know, they're just so <laughs> funny and so ridiculous. It's kind of hard not to love them. Exactly. Um, and doing your lines, did you guys do lines with Seth and Billy? I did. Yes, and you how, did. No. How did you keep it together? Like, they're silly on their own. They're hilarious. But how do you keep it together? Because they are hilarious. Well, I was trying to act very professional. You know, I just <laughs> was trying to act professional and lot burst out in tears laughing. But... That's what I did. Um, I had all my lines down. That made me feel really professional because it was it was a lot of pages, mm -hmm. like fifty, <laughs> um, a lot of pages. <laughs> and so, yeah, I, I just tried not to laugh, and I didn't laugh. I'm pretty proud of myself. That's, that's basically, yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, thank you guys for your time. I love your energy. Thank I love you. your maturity. Thank you so much. All of that. And so we wish you guys nothing but the best. Yes. Yes. Thank, thank you so much. much. Right, yeah. Do you ever play a joke on your parents? And scare them because you've been at us. Because, like, <laughs> uh, like, I was like, I, she could probably scare me if she wanted to. Right. No, they don't play that. <laughs> <laughs> no. Mm -mm. I'm, like, classic I'm not even going right, to try. Right, I'm not even going to try. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even going to try. <laughs> <laughs> right, thank thank you. you so much.